From the mind behind celebrity autobiography comes the Pack Podcast. It's a special series of short comedies featuring some of our favorite stars, including Emmy winner Tate Donovan, who's with me now. Hi, Tate. So good to see you. Oh, my God. I miss you guys. I know. We miss you, too. I, I miss having you in the studio, but at least we can do this. Yeah. You know, which yes, is nice. Yeah. You get some FaceTime. You have a lot of stuff going on. Um, let's first talk about the Pack Podcast. So this is from the same guy from Celebrity Autobiography. So is that how you kind of got involved with this? Yeah, yeah. Eugene Pack is a wonderful writer, and he does this great show, Celebrity Autobiography, which is a, a blast. And you'll have to come see it when, when it's all up and running again. But um, he's written a bunch of great little plays. And um, it's so funny. He's like, he, he e emails me. He's like, hey, listen, Tata, you know, I'm sure you're super busy. Would you mind, you know, doing this podcast, reading this play that I wrote? And I'm like, super busy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is available, uh, you know? Everyone's I know. Available. So, uh, yeah, we've been reading them, and, and uh, they've been editing them, and it's so much fun. I mean, you get to work, like with Celebrity Autobiography, you get to work with these amazing actors, and it's really fun, light. Uh, you know, it's just perfect for what we're all going through, where we need a yeah. little uh, fun and lightness in our, in our lives. Yeah, and so your episode is called April in Paris, right? Yes. Are we going to hear you sing? Yes, it's part of the comedy, though. <laughs> 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 yeah, I have to, like, imitate Frank Sinatra in it. You know, April in Paris is not an easy song to sing, you know? I mean, oh. it's not like... I did it my way. You know, it's like a very odd uh, melody. And I, I had never heard of it before. And yeah. now he's like, yeah, so you'll sing it like, uh, you know, like how uh, Frank Sinatra does. I'm yeah. like, are you, are you crazy? Yeah, why not? I mean, of course yeah. you can. Are you a singer? Like, have you sung before? I um, am a fiddle player. I used to play in, a, in an Irish, traditional Irish music band in uh -huh. Los Angeles every Thursday night at a pub. So we would sing, I would sing with a group of people and, you know, sometimes I'd have a solo, but I would never consider myself a singer. No. Yeah. Now yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear it. And we're doing it for great causes. The Actors Fund and Feeding America are two of the just, you know, class A uh, charities. I mean, the yeah. Feeding America is really an extraordinary organization. Uh, so we're, we're just all psyched to be given a shot. I know that you're also, you got a new TV show. Uh, well, yeah, we're, we're in the, we were in the middle of shooting a pilot um, for Fox. Yeah. And uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic show. I mean, I, I hope that we get to go. It was in New Orleans, which has been hit pretty hard, uh, yeah. unfortunately. But um, It's called yeah, Blood Relative. You know, yeah, Blood Relative, right, yeah. And it's, it's about... Um, uh, so, sort of solving crimes using DNA. And uh, it, it's just really, yeah, it's, a, it's a blast. It's a really smart script, um, awesome cast. And, you know, hopefully we'll get back and finish it. And, uh, yeah. you know, you'll see it on Fox. But what do you look for in a script? Like what, when you read a script, like when you read this pilot, do you have a knack for knowing like this show can go the distance? No. No. no, I have I have no idea. No. If I'm excited by the role, um, you know the situation, the world it takes place in. Uh, if other people are cast, uh, that's that's how I sort of like, you know, yeah. say yes or no. I fall in love every single time. I, I love hilarious. that. Yeah. Well, did you fall in love with the Aretha Franklin biopic Respect? Because I know you're in that. Wow. Who are you playing in that? I play John Hammond, who uh, it's kind of a small role in Aretha's story. He's the first one who uh, gave her a recording contract. But he is a legend in uh, the music business. He found uh, Billie Holiday, um, Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, Aretha Franklin. Uh, he's, he's an amazing guy. Um, but working with Jennifer Hudson was like, I mean, right. there's a scene where she's recording a song, her first song, and, you know, I was just like, yeah, I was blown away. She's so talented. Uh, She's so talented, and Forrest yeah. Whitaker plays her dad, and they oh. have such an intense, complicated relationship. Uh, it's really, it's, it's going to be a great movie. Well, other than that, are you, how are you holding up during this whole isolation thing? You taking on any new hobbies, doing anything new, learning uh, new instruments? Well, 
I'm, I'm like everybody else. I'm doing a lot of baking. I'm baking so much bread. It's ridiculous. Yes. Um, uh, you know, with some success, I got early success. Like my first three or four loaves were amazing. And then for some reason, I don't know why, they're, they're all coming out terrible these days. I'm going through a slump. So you're the one taking up all the flour and yeast because I can't ever forget any. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll send you some. I'll send you okay, some because I can't do it anymore. All right. Well, I am, have thoroughly enjoyed this conversation with you today, this little chat. You can hear Tate on April in Paris and check out even more. Um, head to the packpodcast.org. Tate, thank you so much. Thank you. you. Lots of love.